It's time for some Perry probe action, but just so you know, no one by the name of Perry was harmed in the making of this video. By the way, this video is sponsored by Wirestock. Make money from your photos, video and vector files by uploading to Wirestock. They get distributed to all major marketplaces and it's free to sign up. Royalty rates are higher than usual and Wirestock takes just 15 percent only when it sells. Get started with the link below. I've got the old Perry probing away inside of this plastic acrylic vase right there. It's a pretty interesting to sit up. When I say interesting, I mean it's a pain in the bum. FYI, I didn't sit on it. It's on the wonk. I was framing this up earlier and that is the best I could get. If you haven't seen it already, the OG Lara probe lens was a macro lens that looked like this and made my legs look like this. The new Perry probe lens is just as wild. The wideness and the macroness are crazy. It's like a bug's eye view of the world. Then you add the probing action and then the Perry. Think periscope, which is essentially a mirror on the end, which lets you look at right angle to where you should be looking out of. The only problem with that combination really bloody hard to get a straight shot. That is for you, Daddy. Oh, that's for me, is it? Okay, you can... Food colouring. We're going to drip them in there. Drip, drip, drip. Splash, splash, splash. Let Daddy show you the way first. We don't want you to end up getting your face dyed red. What colour do you want? Do you want blue? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go for blue, shall we? You know what? I'm just going to go crazy. Crazy with the colours. So as the lens is waterproof up to the USB bit, you can get it immersed in water. I've got it semi-immersed. Last time I did something similar with the probe lens, I had to have the camera angled at sort of like a 45 degree angle going into the water. If you want to try and shoot this from the side of the tank, it's going to look quite murky. That is what you'll see. Because with the standard probe lens, of course, there's a bit of length there, so there's only so much you can manoeuvre it in certain spaces, which is why they've got this. What's this right angle viewing good for? I can see uh, my feet. Very useful. You can take selfies of your foot. Macro, of course, without having to look down. Just to show you how the different probing action works, the standard probe lens will let you peer forwards into whatever crevice you're poking into. Mmm, donuts. I love donuts. Oh, she fell over. Probably had too many donuts. The right angle viewing can be quite useful when you're sticking that slender shaft down a small space and you want to look that way. After all, not all subjects will be at the end of a very thin, long, narrow tunnel. Some of them will be at the end and to the side. The Perry probe goes in, and then you can rotate the lens to look around. Eesh, this looks like a creepy horror movie or something. Oh look, a crapper. So the Perry probe bit can actually be rotated to get uh, not just sideways that way, but sideways other ways. 360, basically. Although it must be noted that it's not a regular panning motion. It gets tilted a bit when you swivel it. So it might not be totally easy to follow, like, say, an ant walking around its ant house or whatever wildlife people shoot with these it is a bit of a niche lens an expensive one at that i mean it's not the kind of lens that you're just going to buy and think you know what i want to try probing stuff no there's cheaper probing options the mind boggles it is a lens that you know exactly why you need it if you're buying it for the novelty then you're just going to waste a lot of money and end up having it collect dust in the corner well probably not because it comes with its own weapon like case and it does look like a weapon and just to think that Lara first showed me a prototype of the original probe lens in Hong Kong airport of all places. And of course sideways action is not what you want then you can still swap this out for the standard probe lens but of course that flexibility comes at a price. Well the price obviously. So let me just swap out this is how you swap it out. You undo this ring. It makes me feel like I'm a sniper or something. Screw you. Okay, there we are. Original probe lens. Yes, maximum bang for your bucket. You'll never worry about being inadequate in a probe department again. But you know, it's not just for probing. The uniquely slender shape and sticking out far away from the camera and looking kind of to the side or down or up. Objects can go very close to the lens, making it seem like stuff is going through the lens or out of it. And then with a decent tripod with a fluid head, not this one, you can get some unique camera movements. 
but still is mainly used for the wide macro ability. It's a 24 millimeter T14 two times macro, good for those people who like the letter T, bad for those who want a bright lens. This does not let much light in. As a lens, it's not the sharpest you will ever use, and it's a maximum aperture of f14, which means if you're doing shots like this at 120 fps, you need a lot of light. Perhaps one saving grace though, it does have its own lighting system built in to the end of it. Oh, there you go. That'll do. Where's that one? What's that? It's a big mess in a minute. Oh, oh, I was almost gonna swear. I would never swear. Okay, man, let's go, man. Oh, you're not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you? Bye. Sorry. In a very small space, those lights have plenty of power to illuminate a dark space. In this case, bring the ISO down a bit. Just note that light has a colour cast to it. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna make a little mess. Oh. Mess in there, right? Yeah. Controlled mess is what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. We don't want to get this table messy. No. No, mummy's, mummy's gonna say something if it gets messy. Mm -hmm. It is a wow or a what lens. Even for those that would make use of a lens like this, will probably find that this lens spends more time packed away than mounted on your camera. But the point of it though, is that on the times that you do use it, you enjoy the wacky possibilities with it. So what color do you want to try? Um, this one. This one? You want to try green? Mm -hmm. Let's have a go with green. Green and blue. Okay, let's go, man. I'm a man. Oh, you're not man. Okay, you're boy. Okay, here we go. Whoa, squidgy, squidgy, squidgy. There isn't much really to complain about it otherwise, nor anything else to compare it to other than their own probe lens, which is basically the same as this, but this has got swappable end bits. If it tickles your fancy, then this will no doubt tickle. It'll probably literally tickle you, actually, but it will also tickle your probe desires endlessly until you get bored of it. Interesting. Is that interesting? No? <laughs> mm -hmm. Not interesting. Okay. We should probably do something else then. 